Okay, so that one gave you a pretty good overview of everything, but there's a couple things I wanted to make sure that we still go over. Now, when you started this, when I ran it through a first time, I realized that, oh, this asteroid, when I clicked on it, nothing happened. So I had to go back and I had to say, actions, go to scene asteroid. So you have to be very specific with every single thing that you do. So like when I clicked on a comment and I got the correct answer, I also had to tell it to go back and say, go to scene asteroid. So I can go back to asteroid. And then if I wanted the asteroid to go back to the main screen, actions, I can say, go to home. Now, one other neat little project is I haven't done anything with the moon yet because what I can also do is I can say actions, I can link to different things. So when I did a Google search of the moon and NASA, I came up with the following website. So I'm going to copy that link and I'm going to go to on tap links to nasa.gov.moon. Now it's linked and I can do it that way. So I'm going to preview it one more time. So I open up my Zapper reader and I read the screen. So read the zap code. There we go. Now, I click on the moon. And when I do that, it takes me to the website. So, that's your quick little tutorial. If you have any questions at all about this, don't hesitate to shoot me a message or let me know whatever I can do to help you out. And don't forget, when you're done at the very end, hit publish. That's going to make it able to go out so others can use it because the preview, this will only last for a little bit. So when you hit publish, it becomes, you know, everyone can use it as long as you have your 30 days or you keep up with your subscription. And the nice thing about these, like I said in the description and the directions, is that you can upload the content on the back end at any point. So if you have any questions, don't ever hesitate to ask, and I look forward to chatting with you soon. Bye-bye.